In 1941, Peru and Ecuador fought a short war arising from a disputed border. The border dispute has its origin dating back to the 1800s, to when both countries gained their independences from Spain. Ecuador in 1817 as a province of Gran Colombia and Peru in 1821 as a sovereign nation. In turn, Gran Colombia and Peru arose from the Spanish administrative territories of the vice royalties of New Granada and Peru respectively. The frontiers of New Granada and Peru were not precisely defined in the Minas in the Amazon region and Jaén in the Andes, or had regions transferred to them as in Tumbes. After gaining their independences, Gran Colombia and Peru inherited these imprecise frontiers in Minas, Jaén, and Tumbes, which became disputed territory. And partly for this reason, Gran Colombia and Peru went to war in 1828, which ended inconclusively, with the two sides agreeing to maintain the territorial status quo. In 1830, Gran Colombia was dissolved and subsequently replaced by three new nations, Colombia, Venezuela, and Ecuador. Some or all of the imprecisely defined territories were inherited by Colombia and Ecuador, who each now had a disputed border between them and also with Peru. Negotiations to resolve the border dispute failed to reach a resolution, as each side presented colonial-era documents claiming ownership to the territories. In 1857, Ecuador tried to sell a portion of disputed minas in the Amazon to pay off its foreign debt, but which was stopped by Peru with the use of force. Meanwhile, through the 1800s and into the 1900s, Peru had encouraged its citizens to settle into and develop these disputed regions that by the early 1900s, Peruvians had effectively gained control of Tumbes and Jaén and much of minas. In 1934, following a short war, Peru and Colombia ended their territorial dispute and both countries established a definitive border. Ecuador did not recognize this border as it still had a claim over Tumbe, Sain, and Minas, which Colombia now recognized as falling under Peruvian sovereignty. The territorial dispute between Ecuador and Peru centered on whether Ecuador's territory extended beyond the Andes mountain range to the Marano River, including the Amazon Basin. Over the years, attempts by the two sides to find a resolution through negotiations or arbitration failed. In 1936, two years after Colombia and Peru fixed their common border, Ecuador and Peru signed the Lima Accord, where both agreed to respect each other's settled areas but not necessarily sovereignty over them within the disputed territories, this agreement forming the 1936 status quo borderline. However, by the late 1930s, tensions were again rising and armed clashes breaking out, prompting both sides to deploy more troops to the border. In Quito, Ecuador's capital, anti-Peru public demonstrations were being held. On July 5, 1942, full-scale war between Ecuador and Peru broke out, with both sides accusing the other of firing the first shots. Peru charged that Ecuadorian forces at Waquillas attacked the Peruvian town of Aguas Verdes, while Ecuador accused Peruvian border forces of provoking an incident to incite war. In any case, the war was one-sided. The well-equipped northern Peruvian forces advanced into Ecuador's El Oro province, easily overwhelming the small garrison. The Peruvians benefited from a recent military upgrade that included the purchase of modern planes, tanks, and artillery pieces. By contrast, Ecuador was unprepared for war, and its forces were equipped with obsolete weapons, which even then were in short supply. Consequently, Peruvian forces captured border areas and paratroopers were even landed in Puerto Bolivar. The Peruvians advanced north and west into Ecuador, seizing territories abandoned by retreating Ecuadorian soldiers. The Peruvians also captured some Ecuadorian-held Amazonian regions. Tens of thousands of Ecuadorian civilians fled their homes, ending up as internal refugees that created a humanitarian crisis. The Peruvian Air Force, equipped with modern planes, launched bombing raids on towns and cities. In May 1941, before the outbreak of hostilities, the United States, Brazil, and Argentina had tried but failed to mediate in the crisis, 
and on July 26, 1941, three weeks into the fighting, an attempt by these countries to broker a ceasefire also failed. With further mediation efforts, five days later, July 31st, Ecuador and Peru finally agreed to a ceasefire. During the ceasefire, Peruvian forces consolidated their hold on captured territories where they organized civilian administrations from co-opted local residents. Ecuador accused Peru of expansionist ambitions, which the latter denied. Along the coast, the Peruvian navy, much larger than the ill-equipped Ecuadorian navy, imposed a naval blockade. On land, in August to September 1941, some fighting occurred in Peruvian-held El Oro and Loja, as well as in Minas, with Ecuador accusing Peru of continuing its offensive into highland Azuay. On October 2, 1941, diplomatic efforts by the mediator nations led to the signing of the Talara Accord, where Peru and Ecuador agreed to another ceasefire and more significantly to the establishment of a demilitarized zone or DMZ from where both sides withdrew their forces. Military observers from the mediator nations arrived to monitor the ceasefire in the DMZ, which was also returned to Ecuadorian administration. Further diplomatic efforts led on January 29, 1942 to Peru and Ecuador signing the Rio Protocol, with the United States, Brazil, Chile, and Argentina acting as guarantors of the protocol. The protocol, which officially ended the war and also intended to delineate a definitive border between the two nations, was subsequently ratified by the governments of Peru and Ecuador. As per the Rio Protocol, Peru withdrew its forces from occupied territories, which were returned to Ecuadorian control. Another stipulation was that Ecuador announced its claim to direct land access to the Marañón and Amazon rivers. As a result, 200,000 square kilometers of disputed territory in Minas was awarded to Peru. In the other disputed areas, Ecuador ceded 18,500 square kilometers of territory to Peru, while Peru ceded 5,000 square kilometers to Ecuador. A surveying team from the guarantor nations was tasked to mark the border between the technical descriptions in the Rio Protocol. As a large area of the border traversed Amazonian jungle, U.S. Air Force planes conducted aerial surveys. The resulting aerial maps show the disparity in the condor Senepa region between the actual topography and the Rio Protocol's technical descriptions. An arbitration decision by Brazil in 1945 also failed to resolve the discrepancy. Then in 1960, Ecuador withdrew from the demarcation panel, which at that point had only 78 kilometers of the 1,500-kilometer border left undemarcated, stating that the Rio Protocol was impossible to implement, and further, that in 1942, Ecuador had been forced under duress to sign the protocol since Peruvian troops were occupying Ecuadorian territory. In the ensuing years, a cycle of tensions, threats of war, and attempts at resolution followed, which culminated in two major armed clashes. Finally, in October 1998, Ecuador and Peru signed a peace treaty, the Brasilia Presidential Act, where a definitive border was agreed and later fixed between them, thereby ending the Western Hemisphere's longest continuous territorial dispute.